G'day, g'day, it's another bloody gorgeous day here in Paradise, Christchurch, New Zealand. You're with Thomas, PC Guru, Engines. In all my tweaking of delaying the injection point, it's made nearly no difference. And I'm back to at top dead center. This spring, rubbing against the side of there, is stopping this from freely coming in and out. Given that the spring is on a pin that is so close to there. So I'm going to extend this and put a pin out here. We'll have much better control. Rather than have the engine get really slow, pick up and then go fast, I want to narrow down that hitting and missing. Because this is behaving like a hit and miss. But it's behaving like a hit and miss that has a long hit cycle and we know an engine that was a hit and miss that had a long hit cycle and that was the engine war 7cc The right spring fixed that, but here I think, um, yeah, maybe, but I think this is just too, this pin is too close to where that angle goes. And that's why we need such a strong spring, and also the spring against against here is, is messing things up. So that's what I'm gonna work on. I want to improve the pin on the governor on the diesel engine. So we've got a 3.5 and a 5. One is the internal and the other is the external. They nearly match this. This is going to go over the pin on the governor uh, to fit into the slot of the spinning part of the governor. I need to get the inside of that um, up to 3.5 millimeters. So we're going to put that inside a hole in here to hold it and then drill that out carefully. The other thing is just remake the pin. I might do that, but we'll see if this works. Okay, just threading that. That's the angle I wanted. You can see the extra little uh, 0.25 millimeters on each side of the pin, and we're putting the um, we're putting that um, lever base here. So this is where we're at. Uh, I'll show you how that looks on the engine. G'day, g'day. It's another bloody gorgeous day here in Christchurch, New Zealand. You're with Thomas, PC Guru, Engines. I haven't really had a lot of time to work on this in the last month because I haven't been well. But having a look at it today, um, I have made the little pin in the uh, governor fit a little bit better and I've put a little lever out the side of the governor so that the spring has more lever to act on. I tried running it on diesel and I tried running it on kerosene mix and running it on full diesel um, is very dirty so I'm going to go like Finn Hansen did with his model and, uh, and run it on kerosene. Now I know that that's not ideal for um, the pump so I'm going to run about 20% diesel or I'm going to put a little bit of lubricating in, the, in there to help for the pump but remember this is not running for hours or days at a time. Uh, I let it run out of uh, fuel so I've got to do the bleeding again. Right let's get an idea of the injector in this. don't like taking this apart, always leaks more when you've done it, but I think I've got a, I think I've got grit in my injector or something uh, leaking there. And I need to learn this stuff, so. It's where we get these things, isn't it?
The reason I'm filling this up now is because I want the level to be as high as possible in the system when I open these things. Yeah? I want as little air as possible in there, is what I'm saying. Right, we're going to take the injector out. So I've prepared this by uh, grinding off the side so it fits in this little slot here. Now that's actually come out differently from the other one. I really didn't expect that. The other one comes out like one piece. Uh, so I'm really not sure what's going on here and that's loose can you see that there seems to be a spring there I can see the spring I think I'm seeing a hex thing I think I can use a hex um, to get that out let's try that So luckily this is 8mm and I made some long 8mm sockets on the little engines, the little spark plugs are 8mm so let's see if this works. I believe that does, I believe that does, just. Mm -hmm. That's it though, let's take that off. Easy when you have the right tool, when you can find the right tool guys, because I couldn't. One injector. Oh yeah, it is different from the other one. And it is pretty dirty. So, so we're going to give that a clean, and a reassemble, and if I can, we're going to tighten it as well. I'm going to use a combination of um, a thread locker, which is like a liquid sealer, and Teflon. I'm going to assemble it first and then put it in. So I don't want this going all into there. Just want to the tape is. Alright, that actually feels really good. I'm squeezing that into there, and I'm going to wet this side of it. got none on the injector we're going to try popping that in we should be able to do it up just using this part it should do up both both of those bits okay now the problem with brass is and the aluminium head they both deform really easily, so yeah, not, you know, hobby level. I'm pretty sure that's about right. Okay, we're going to see if we can get some 
the juice coming out of here. Right, let's see if we can prime that. going but anyway we'll just close that up We'll see whether that makes any difference to our run. got a little bit of leak coming out there
interesting. Okay, my fuel economy is better. I'm still leaking here. Yeah, I'm not absolutely sure where I'm leaking from there. Let me have a tidy up. But, all in all, it's still fun. <laughs> it's still fun. Oh dear. Gracious be what a mess.